Hello and welcome back to Mac UET. This lecture is about the factor rating method. So this method is basically providing us with the analyzation of different sites in our approach. So we will be having different two or three sites uh, and we will be looking at each site and then we will be using this method to find out that which site should be preferred for our project or whatever our industry or company is. So we are trying to select a location for our project and then based on different uh, sites we would be preferring a single one of them and uh, that location would be our uh, final location for our project and in order to select that location from different locations we would be using the factor rating method so as the name suggests that uh, there must be some certain factors that we would be preferring right so these factors would be the factors that we need for a certain location to have because these factors would be the requirement of our project so whatever our project is we need to find out or we need to enlist all the factors that we need for any location to have and that do these factors are termed as key success factors So the key success factors are the factors that we need for our project right? and these factors would be increasing the productivity of our project or these uh, factors might be based on uh, the different, different uh, aspects of our project but these factors are the requirements of our project so we need to enlist all the factors that we need for a certain location to have uh, in order to fulfill uh, the requirement of our project. Right? So, the first term factors uh, we termed as the key success factors and we need to enlist or we need to find out all these factors that is required for that are required for our project and then the second term which says rating so all the factors would be important for our project but the level of importance would be different some factors would be more important than other Right? And that's why we need to rate each factor. We need to rate each factor based on the importance they are having in our project. For example, uh, there might be a factor that, that says that we need electricity for our project. And then the other factor would be we need water resource for our project. And then both of these are important for our project, but the level of importance might be different. Right? So, uh, maybe the electricity is more important than the water and it will be based on the project we are having right? so that's why we need to rate each factor based on it, its importance in our project and this factor rating method would be helping us find out, finding out that which location or which site is to be selected uh, for our final location now there are four steps that we need to follow after these four steps we would be having a final location that we need to select and uh, uh, based on the factor rating method. So the first step would be we have to enlist or we need to find out all the factors required for our project. Uh, in the, uh, as we said these are the uh, key success factors. The second step would be selecting a scale. So this scale might be uh, selected from 0 to 1 or 0 to 100 or 0 to 1000. Uh, it is totally up to us whatever we select. So we need to select the scale and then we need to rate each factor. So rating is just uh, giving a weightage to each factor based on its importance. So if uh, a certain factor is more important, we would be weighting it more or giving it more weightage than the other, uh, other factors uh, in, in uh, remaining in a certain scale. Uh, we would get to understand it when we go uh, into the example. The next step, uh, the third step is scoring each factor at each site. Right? So we would be providing a score for each factor at a certain site. So we, if we look at one site then we would have been scoring uh, each factor and we would be trying to find out that what is 
uh, the ability of that location or that side that we will be having that certain factor and finally uh, we have to find out the weighted weighted score which will be obviously the product of the weight given to a certain factor multiplied by the score of that factor at each location and we would be understanding all these steps once we move let's move to the example now uh, as the first step uh, said that we have to enlist all the factors that are required for project right so we, we enlisted all the factors like for example we are having factor as labor attitude and then people to core ratio, per capita income, uh, tax structure, education and health. So these are the factors let's say the key success factors that we need for our project to have. And then uh, we need to select a scale now let's suppose we selected a scale from 0 to 1 as uh, it was the second step that we need to select a scale and then we, we need to uh, provide the weightage for each factor based on that certain scale so we, we select the scale from 0 to 1 and then uh, let's say we, suppose the importance of a labor attitude is uh, weighing 0 0.25 and then uh, the next factor is 0 0.05 and then uh, 0 0.10 0 0.39 uh, so this is that the text structure by, uh, for our project is the most important as uh, as the weight is shows the importance of uh, each factor in our project and the sum of these, uh, these all of them would be equal to one obviously because we are uh, providing this weightage based on the scale from zero to one the third step said that we need to score each side uh, um, according to the each factor we are having so we have to look at the side and we have to see that how much uh, is the score of this factor in that uh, side or what is the capability of that side that we will be providing us with this uh, factor right and then again we need to look at the second side and then uh, we have to provide the score for the second side that what is the capability of second side that it will be providing us with this second factor right and then we need to score all of them and we, we can uh, score it based on our own uh, scale but let's say we are scoring each factor uh, for each side out of 100 right so let's score them all right so uh, let's suppose we are having this much score for each factor like for example for the people to core ratio site one says that there is uh, the score of 50 out of 100 that uh, that is the capability of site one that it would be uh, having a people to core ratio uh, benefiting our, our project by uh, and uh, score is 50 and uh, for site two it is uh, 60 that means uh, site two has more capability uh, for that certain factor to be providing us and then finally our final step would be uh, to find out the weighted score of uh, each side and the weighted score means it would be the product or multiplication of the weighted weightage of that factor multiplied by the score of that side right so let's suppose the first weighted score for site 1 would be according to that specific factor and it would be 0 0.25 multiplied by 70 and it would be 17.5 right so this would be the weighted score for this factor for site 1 right and the same would be the weighted score for site 2 which would be 0 0.25 multiplied by 60 right and let's suppose let's uh, find out all the weighted score for each factor uh, regarding each side. Once you find out uh, the weighted score for each side regarding each factor then our final step is being completed and what remains is that we, we need to find out the total weighted score for each side right and whatever the score is more whether it is for the site 1 or it is for the site 2 we need to sum each weighted score and that would be our final weighted score let's sum them up so the first sum for the first side is 70.4 
while the sum for the second side is 68.0 right so as we can see that this weighted score is more than the side 2 so that would mean that we have to select site one in order to increase uh, the profit or the profit or the chance of success of our project and uh, so this location or the site one would be benef uh, would be preferred uh, as compared to site two because its weighted score is more than site two and uh, this is uh, the simple procedure for a uh, factor rating method that will be providing us with the uh, selection of the site uh, or the, the selection of the site that is more beneficial than the other sites and uh, sometimes it is much more closer to each other then we need to go back and look at all these uh, weightage uh, provided as well as uh, the scoring so that if there is any mistake then we can f uh, find out it again but this is a simple step-by-step -step procedure and it will be getting us to the final selection of the site and uh, that's, that, was, that was all for this lecture uh, I hope it is very much clear if you still have any issues please do comment I would be more than glad to answer uh, wish you best of luck goodbye if you liked my video please hit that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe would really appreciate the support wishing you the best of luck